In this video, we're gonna talk about why you shouldn't go vegan, why it's not a healthier diet, and what you should do with your diet instead. Oh, Nailed it. <laughs> Is going vegan healthier than any other diet? No. No. It's not. Absolutely not. Well, I've just seen a documentary that says so. Uh, yeah, it must be true then. Netflix, it's gotta be, it's gotta be true, on it. That's where I do Netflix. all my... Netflix definitely don't just wanna make some money. Nah. That's where I do all my research, Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, yeah. Yeah, yeah they wouldn't lie. They wouldn't lie. <sighs> no, 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 no. Not to get subscriptions? No. Nah, I don't no. think so. Not at all. You couldn't be vegan anyway. Nah. You can't grow dreadlocks. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. I haven't got the right look, have I? No, being you, vegan. you just wouldn't. People are like, no, mate, you're, you're too aggressive. What, just because my hair? Yeah, just because your hair. Brilliant. Although, you know, you do smell, so there is that. I do, I do not wash. Do they have to, like, check their animal products? Or, like, of all their, all their they their shampoo, washing hope, liquid. Hopefully. Clothes, hope. furnishings. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope no uh, animals were harmed in the making of their homes or anything like that, or like, you know. Homes? Well, yeah, just think about how many, how Where many- Where they live in? Well, no, but just think about how many, like, how many ah, bits woodland. of land get demolished for houses, you know? But being vegan is not healthier. Cut that bit out. Why is being vegan not healthier? If I could just eat a diet containing chips every day, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthier. The concept that meat is unhealthy is, is just incorrect. And the problem with, with documentaries like the ones we see on Netflix and that sort of stuff is they always hone in on research that is, is like correlation data. So what they do is they go, oh, we found that people who ate lots and lots of red meat, right? They'll say red meat often. We found that they died earlier than the people who didn't eat red meat or le ate less red meat. But what they do with red meat is they lump in highly processed things like burgers, hot dogs, all that sort of stuff. Really, really highly processed food that we wouldn't recommend you eat lots of yeah. anyway. Occasionally, not the end of the world. Not because it's bad or scientifically proven as bad, but because if, you, if you're eating a lot of processed foods and you might have other poorer lifestyle choices. Yeah. So if you had two people who were identical, who probably didn't smoke, trained, watched what they ate, but some of them ate processed foods, a small amount, and others that didn't, you would probably see similar results. But whereas at the minute, people who eat burgers, hot dogs, that kind of thing, probably don't watch their weight, probably don't exercise, are more likely to smoke are more likely to consume alcohol therefore it's not a fair test and that's the problem with it is they don't take any of that information into account they just look at the numbers they go eating red meat is bad for you so therefore i'm going to eat no meat at all but even further than that they go no eggs no dairy no anything no and fun no yeah yeah well, so what do you eat then well, nothing just kale yeah Great. nothing sounds fun but the problem with it is that people then take their diets to the extreme they then try and be vegan and they remove all those foods right so they remove any meat, any dairy, anything like that, right? And all the best foods that we like the taste of, right? Pizzas, burgers. Beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, Even still things like chocolate, a lot of highly processed foods that you eat out in fast food places, but also a lot of snacks you would eat in your own home are not vegan. What they do is for two weeks, they cut out all those foods. Guess what? They lose weight and they feel better about themselves. Yeah. Hmm. Why? Why? Because they've cut calories out. You've cut calories out, you probably eat more street. veg. So actually, if you ate the food you were eating before, but ate a load more veg with it, yeah. you would probably feel the same benefits. So it's not that you've cut out the meat, it's probably more the fact you're eating more plants, which we would encourage all of anyway. our clients or anyone to do because it, it's going to be good for you. Now, this documentary, Game Changers on Netflix, has gone through um, like certain athletes who are vegan and are at the top of their game. Been, been vegan all their life, have they? Yeah, no, they haven't. Mm. See, what they've done is they've got, 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 to, to, a, a, got to the top eating meat. Not, not because they're eating meat, no. but they are eating meat. And now they're vegan, but it's because they're vegan while they're at the top. Ridiculous. Conor McGregor lost because he ate steak, apparently. Yeah, of yeah. But what yeah. about all the other fights that he's won? Yeah, yeah no, ridiculous. You'll deal nothing. But with these athletes as well, the fact that they ate meat often to get to the top, like to get to the top, that arguably requires more work, more effort, more sacrifice once yeah. you're there. Yeah. And then what, well, yeah, like, who's the other one? Uh, Djokovic is there, he's now gluten free, and he's yeah. Djokovic. Mm, he was pretty good while he was eating gluten though. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it, yes, he, and the other thing is about this is like, yes, his recovery might be enhanced and he might be saying now, I feel like I recover better, I feel like I'm more on the point with that sort of thing. Well, if you go gluten free, you have to then cut out a lot of foods that are generally considered fast foods, more processed, all that sort of stuff. But he's probably more health seeking as an individual. So he probably now makes sure he drinks more water. His protein intake is probably more on point than it was previously Your because he's taken, he's taken more time to look into aspects of recovery, like potentially going gluten free for him. But alongside that, he's probably done 20 other things yeah. that are gonna enhance his recovery. And then they mention about a world str strongest man who's never actually competed in world strongest man. So he is a strong man. Man. But then it's like, it kind of is like, yeah, but 
what all the others we meet. Yeah, like, just because there's one. Just because there's one. Like, there's, by laws of averages, there might be one. And there's nothing bad about being vegan. If you want to be a vegan and you want to do it for the, you know, the ethical reasons, yeah. all that sort of stuff, hats off to you. Like, yeah. that's great. And you can still thrive as an athlete on a plant-based diet. You just have to be very aware of your protein intake and where those sources of protein are and the amino acid content of those sources. We're not saying you can't do it. Yeah. It's just a lot harder and it's not necessary from a health point of view to do it. So the takeaways from this is that if you're going vegan for ethical reasons, crack on. Yeah. If you're doing it because you think it's healthier, it's not. It makes your life a lot more difficult and there are better things you can be doing. So what would you recommend for people who want to have a healthier diet and have thought about going vegan because they think it's healthier? I would say don't go vegan. Only go vegan if it's ethic based. All I would do for a healthier diet, stick to leaner cuts of meat, that's cool. Stick to fish, stick to low fat dairy, stick to a larger proportion of your food being plant based and that's great. Yeah. Increase your water, exercise a little bit and you'll see all of those benefits without having to have a knee jerk reaction of F I'll just cut everything out and go vegan. Yeah. And by the way, if you are ethically gonna go vegan because of the environment, make sure that you don't race Formula One for a living. Three top tips for vegan and plant-based diets and whether you need to do it or not. Number one, we should all be eating more plants, yeah. without a doubt. Eat more plants, eat more fruits, veggies, starch is good for you. Yes, you probably should cut down on ultra-processed yeah. food, fast food, things like that. Don't eat too much of it. Just from a health point of view, probably not ideal. You need to eat more veg. Number three, you do not need to cut out meat, like Mike said. Leaner cuts, fish, chicken, low-fat dairy, eggs are all good. So if you enjoyed that video, please do hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share that with a vegan pal. Yeah. They'll you, enjoy that. They won't. They won't. You would know who they are though because they will not stop talking about it. Will not shut up about it. Until next time. Ooh, nice little outro there. There you go.